I have this colouring book cover just here, as you can see, but it looks slightly dull. Whereas I have another one right next to it, where it looks a little bit more vibrant. Dull, vibrant, dull, vibrant. Now what I want to do in this video is just share with you a little Canva hack that you can use to make your covers pop that little bit more. Now, quick side note, if you want to know how I'm personally creating all of my colouring pages, then come and check out the Ultimate Colouring Page Prompt Generator. This is a whole suite of GPTs, and I have a brand new one dropping this Friday. Now, please be aware that this is only available until the 27th of September, which is a week today, and after this date, it will no longer be available to purchase again until November. Now, if you want to check that out, then there will be a link down in the description. Now, bit of a backstory. I was creating colouring book covers the other day for my colouring book. Now, these aren't the ones which I created. These are completely different. These were just literally created as an example for this video. But nonetheless, I was creating book covers the other day and I created one which I really liked, but it didn't have that pop to it, that vibrant feel. So I was thinking, what could I actually do to create this more vibrant without creating a completely different book cover? Because I really, really liked it. And I found a really easy way within Canva. So let me go through the process which I went through and what I do when I'm now using this method. So I have these covers just here. Let's go ahead and choose one. Let's click this one. Now it looks good, but it hasn't got that vibrant feel, that pop which I was looking for. So let's go ahead and download this. We're going to click on download. We're then going to come over to Big JPEG. So this is a software which I use for upscaling my images. I like Big JPEG because it's easy to use and it is relatively cheap. Now, all we have to do is bring this, put it in here, and then we're going to click on start and we're going to upscale this only by four. I found that's all we need to do when creating book covers. Now we're going to give this a second to do its thing as well. And while that's doing that, let's head on over to Canva. And what we're going to do is just take the original, we're going to put this in here, so I'll show you the difference between upscaling and not upscaling. Let's come back over to here, and there we go. Now let's click download on this, and let's head on back over to Canva. Let's take this, put that in there, and we'll put these side by side. So this one is the unupscaled version, the original, and then the second one is the upscaled version. Now right off the bat, you can't really notice much difference. If you want to know what these dimensions are here in Canva, these are also 5,000 by 5,000. But if we take a look side by side, there's not much difference. There's slight difference, but you only really notice this when you zoom in. So if we zoom in, let's come down to the corner where this flower is. This is the original, looks blurry. After upscaled, the quality is much better. If we flick between them, we can really see the difference. So this is why you do need to upscale your images as well for your colouring book covers. But I go through that process, I bring it over to here, and I play around with the Canva filters. So if we click onto this upscaled version, let's click on Edit Image, which is just here. And if we look here, they have a lot of these different filters, which we can play around with to make the covers slightly better. As we can see, that's the original. This is the filter version. And let's just go back onto here, I believe. Let's go on see all. It was this one. Now, as we can see, it just gives it that little bit more pop and makes it a little bit more vibrant. So now, if we take a look at the original, it does look good, but again, it just hasn't got that pop, that vibrancy, I don't know how else to describe it, which I was looking for but then running it through Canva with a filter really makes it pop. So that's the original, this is the filter version, and we can see it looks just slightly better. I prefer this version over that version. 
And again, if we re-click onto this, go to Edit Image, click on See All, we can actually play around with the intensity as well, but they have lots of these different filters. So this one as well, let's look at the original. Now the filter version, again, we can see, it just gives it that little bit more vibrancy. So if you create a cover within Ideogram that you really, really like, but it hasn't got that vibrant feel, then play around in Canva and play around with all of these different filters. Let's click on that one. Let's click on this one. And we can see the filter makes so much difference in how your covers look. Now, once I've actually created it and used a filter which I like, I simply come to Share, I come to Download, we're going to use PNG, we'll keep this on 5000 by 5000 because that's more than enough. We select the page that we want, this is page two, then we can click Download, and then this is what we can actually use as the cover. So now, if we come over to Canva just here, and if we take that image which we just added the filter to, upload it back into Canva, we can then use that for our cover just like that. And again, it just looks slightly better and a little bit more vibrant than the original image. But nonetheless, if you do create some covers with Ideogram and they haven't got that vibrancy that you're looking for, then come over to Canva and give this a go. Now, if you found this video helpful at all, then please consider giving me a like as it really helps out the channel. And if you're not too sure what to watch next, click right here and watch this playlist.